Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing part two of my planner setup I have for my A5 planner I bought at the Carpet DM sale. And I decided that I was going to do more of a shabby chic kind of look. So I'm really loving how it's looking so far. I did went ahead and put all the pages in. Um, I can show you just a quick flip through of that. But I did have all the pages put in and now I'm going to go ahead and set up all the pockets and things. So I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and set up the pockets, and um, I did kind of already create the pockets pretty much um, in my head, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put them together now. So I put this little, I had this little piece for my stash, this little envelope thing, and I'm just going to stick this in here. I love that this matches really well. So I kind of went with like the teals and then the and then the uh, kind of like peachy pinky colors. So then I liked this card as well. So I'm just going to stick this kind of behind there. So I think I'm going to actually just run a piece of this tape back behind there to kind of keep it in place. I don't know if that's necessary, but. Okay, so then the next thing that I want to do is um, I got this from a little journaling card. Oh, I think the thing that I wanted to do was I kind of want to ink some of this stuff up, but we'll do that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to put this card in here. I'm just going to kind of measure out where to cut it. I think I'm going to cut it kind of down here. I'm not sure how deep this pocket is. So let's get this in here, tucked into there. And then I liked this little card because it had kind of both colors. So I was thinking about putting this in here. So I want to cut it probably right about there. So it already has a line, so I could just take my little cutter and I'm gonna cut. I want this to sit in here. I want the ticket to be outside of the pocket. Let me actually also take a little bit of that whiteness off. Just gonna run it over my uh, with my what is this called? I can't remember what this is called, <laughs> but I'm just. Take, I didn't even put it in the ink pad. I'm just taking what's left on the ink pad and just kind of dirtying, dirtying that up a little bit. It's a little too white for me. And so I want it to kind of hang out of the pocket so it looks like it's actually paper clipped or stapled on instead of being... Just trying to figure out where I want that cut to be. So let me... I'll just draw kind of a light line right here. <coughs> then I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and just cut along the edges of the ticket. Maybe. And then hopefully just have it kind of sticking out a little bit. Yeah, like that. Pull this up just a little bit. I'm kind of going for like more of like a shabby chic look. 
okay, like that. And then I wanted to put this over here, kind of just hanging off. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna take some foam tape, that's not foam tape. I'm just gonna take a piece of foam tape and stick it down here. Oops, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you have to take the paper off the foam tape before you stick it down. Just in case you were wondering how that works. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tape that here. So it's kind of hanging off the page. Don't know how long that will last, but let's put a little bit of this temporary tape and tape it to the book. Okay. And then, oh, I wanted this piece back behind here. Shoot. Hold on. I want a little bit of this back behind there. I left this little piece of paper. So I'm just gonna, I just want like a little piece of it. Yeah. So let's cut this. I'm just gonna cut the corner off of that. And then I'm just gonna etch this up a little bit. The top up here. And just stick that in there. And then for the second pocket, I want to put this in there. I feel like it's a little bit too tall. So I'm just going to take off just a little tiny bit of it. And then I found this piece in there that kind of has that same peachy color. I don't really care about the Saturday, but... Um, I'm not, you're not going to see it. I just wanted the color. <coughs> Let's go ahead and might as well just edge all of them. Okay. I don't know if that's still sticking out too much. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then I have this other little piece. This came from a cut apart in a paper, piece of paper. So I just kind of, I love the contrast of the two different um, colors. Now let's round the corners of this one just a little bit. Wow, that was really not good. Okay. Okay, and then I was going to put the word fun on there, so I think I need to use a glue stick because I don't think that sticker will <laughs> stick down. So let's stick this in here and then just kind of place it. Yeah, I like that. And then I just have this little altered ticket little femur piece. So I'm just going to edge that up and just stick that behind there. Again, I think it's a little long. Actually, was I going to put that in here? Okay, then I have this cute little queen card. Um, I don't have, I don't know why I have this or where I got this from. Um, I think my friend might have given it to me and some stuff she had given to me um, and I just love the color combination the fact that it's a queen I just think it has that pop of pink in there so I'm gonna put it on this side because I'm kind of doing like a I don't want it to be all heavily on that side and then I thought it would be cute just to put this weekly time card thing in here um, I don't necessarily think I'll ever use it but I just thought it would be cute to have a little time card in here. Like, so I'm just gonna, again, dirty up just a little bit. I think I might add some ribbon to this. Can't really tell if that's what it says, but 
it's close enough. And then let's see, I wanted to put this back behind here because I thought if I, that I could put something in the thing to have it dangling out. So I need to kind of figure out how tall I want it and how deep this pocket is. It's a pretty deep pocket. It goes probably right about there. So probably want to cut off to the four to the 12. And I think I'll cut it at an angle. And again, it's a little too white for me, so I'm just gonna dirty it up a little bit. I have this other tool that I, little makeup brush that I got at the Dollar Tree that I like. You're not really gonna see a lot of this, so I don't have to go too far down. That's not quite down enough. I gotta cut it more. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and then so that's gonna go there. I'm just gonna stick this in there as well. I think I might have to cut that. Let's see if I can stick it behind here now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit. I don't really wanna cut this. So, I don't know, we'll see. And then I just have this really old paper. This is actually already old. Um, and I thought this, I was just gonna, I'm just gonna stick this in here. Again, the only reason I really have this piece back there is so that I can stick something to stick out. And then I found these little femur pieces in my stash and I just thought they would be cute to add in here. I so. um, found this little piece of a femur that says cab. And those are my initials. My initials actually spell the word cab. So I thought it would be cute just to add this in here. <laughs> And then I had this own little other piece. Again, I don't know where I get these random little pieces of stuff, but it's nice to have them. And then I'm just gonna use a glue stick. I'm just going to stick this down. And then I have this other little piece from um, a Tim Holtz collection. And I thought that what I would do, since I'm doing five, six, and seven, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little simmer piece. And I remember what I wanted to do with this thing. Okay, I definitely want this shorter. Um, so, I don't really wanna cut it though. Um, I think I'm just going to fold it on this little edge. Just, I don't want to fold it. I don't want to, um, I don't want to cut it because I don't want to, um, I want to potentially use it for later. I'm going to cut this one just a little bit more. Okay, so then what I was going to do with this piece is I'm going to What was I going to do? I was going to staple this down. Am I going to staple this? Because my thought process is I like to have this little thing sticking out of here. A little five. Yeah, I was gonna staple it so that I can change it. That's right. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just gonna staple this. And then I can just switch this out. Hopefully it stays in there good enough. Here, let me put a little piece of temporary tape on there. And then on in June, I can just switch it out for the six. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to add some texture to it. 
um, by putting in some ribbons. So for this one, I wanted to use this really shiny, pretty ribbon. I don't know if it's gonna work because I think it might be too, it might fray at the ends, but we're just gonna try it and see what happens. And if it frays, I'll just cut it. And um, Okay, so then I wanna add a little texture to this. I was thinking about just kind of gluing a little piece of this on there. Maybe, maybe just doing like a little cluster. So I'm just going to glue this little piece on the side here. Yeah, I feel like it needs to be shorter. I'm gonna just cut it a little bit. I have more of these, so I'm okay with cutting it. But I don't like that you can't see the thing. I need it to at least say a little bit of the week. That's good, and then maybe I need a little something right there to kind of help close that off. So let's see, I have yeah that's it this little this little uh, flower ribbon has really come in handy and I'm running low on it so I actually did order something similar yeah that's you know what maybe I need another one All right, I like how that's looking. I want to put a little piece of ribbon in here. So I had some right here. Just have this little piece of ribbon. Hopefully it fits in this hole. <laughs> okay. And then I probably want something down here. I have this washi tape and it looks like old washi tape. And um, maybe I can just use some of this. So this card is a little bit white for me, so I'm just going to take my edger here. Of course, I taped it down. I'm just going to take my edger. Oh man, I got too much. Now for this piece, I am going to, I just want to edge up the pieces of the um, calendar. deal with this little piece right here so I'm gonna just I think I might just use this tape and then I might use another piece but I'm just gonna use this for now and then maybe that one is I think that's it this is Dollar Tree washi tape, so you always have to use glue stick because it doesn't stick. <laughs> so now it actually looks like it's supposed to be like that instead of a mistake. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to I wanted to decorate this page a little bit. Kind of already, like I said, mapped it out. So I have this little piece of, I think this came from a, um, a loaded envelope that I got. 
and I'm just going to basically make it kind of like a little tuck spot, but it's not really going to be a tuck spot because it's, it's not going to be a tuck spot. It's just going to be an actual spot. I have this really old check. I'm pretty sure I got this from a Cheaply Chic collection. I'm pretty sure pretty sure that that's where I got that so I'm just gonna I kind of want to stick it in here but I want the guest check part to show and I don't want to tear it it's like hanging off the bottom so I don't know what to do about that I think I'll just use my folding trick and I'll just fold it so I don't have to tear it <laughs> I just don't want to tear it Because I don't feel like, you know, this is not permanent. I can So that's kind of what I was thinking about doing with this. And then again, adding some texture by adding a ribbon here. And then um oh, and then I had one more thing. Where'd that go? That's oh, right here. Going to tear this little thing out. Make these a little bit thinner. And then just gonna ink up kind of all the edges of I think most of this stuff. So I'll be right back. This kind of color, because I've got some of this color down in the pocket thingy. So I wanted to bring it to the top. I feel like I want this a little bit shorter. I'm just gonna cut just a tiny bit off of the top. That's just wasteful. Hold on, let me fix that. I don't want to cut all that off the top. Okay. Let me get to go. Okay. All right. So then I'm just gonna kind of. I think I want a little piece of metal. Again, add that little texture in there. So I'm gonna take a paper clip, a Tim Holtz tiny, teeny tiny paper clip that I love. I love these teeny tiny paper clips. <laughs> and I think where do I want it? Let's let's paper clip this check to the guest check on the side right here just to give it that little texture of metal so that could go there that could go there like that and then I'm going to put this right here and then put this at the bottom like it's a pocket but it's not really going to be a pocket and then I was going to put this I don't know maybe I don't want that maybe I don't like that I, that I was going to put this here but I don't like that it's covering up the blue and I don't really like the empty space, so maybe, maybe I just paperclip this to this as well. 
Oh, I can staple it. Let's staple it. Give it another. Not that that's going to work. Yeah. Let's staple it. Okay. I'm going to just weed this through the holes and see if I like it. I think I might actually just use this piece since I'm not using this. I might just run my brush thing over this. I have a lot more of this, so if I ruin it, I can just... I feel like it might be just a little bit too clean. So. All right. And then I think I'm going to weed this through. So the holes don't look like an accident. They look like they're on purpose. Yeah, see, I like that. I think that's cute. Yeah, okay, I like it now. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm just gonna get all this glued down and then I'll be right back. Okay, and then we can cut these off. And then I'm gonna glue this Let me actually get my, get this sticker attached first. Okay, so then I need to attach it to this because this one actually has the right side of the um, calendar. Oh, didn't, didn't cut this. Get in there. So that sits on here like that. Okay, so I've just spent the last 15 minutes looking for this sparkly pink uh, piece of paper or piece of ribbon that was behind me on my floor. <laughs> but it got me to clean my whole area up, so now my area is all clean again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get back to it. All right, so um, I wish this was rippable, but it's not rippable. So I will actually, I think I'm just going to cut it. with my peeking shears. Just all the way around. Oh, well. It's only gonna show out. Might as well cut that little piece off and then it's gonna show the top. But it's not gonna show on the other side, okay. So I'm just going to put this here and then I was going to put this sparkly I wanted to put this little flower thing on here potentially and I wanted to back it with this stuff. So I have this like sparkly pink ribbon. I just wanted to make like a little nest. It's probably too much. I'll have to trim it down a little bit. And then just put that right there. I feel like I don't need that piece. Um, let me cut a little bit off. I gotta cut a little bit off of the side because you can see the top. And 
and then I'm just gonna trim just a tiny bit off of this. It's almost the right size. Like it's a little bit overkill. Make a little like nest thing for this flower to sit on. And then um like it just needs one more little thing, maybe a metal piece. Um, something metal. Let's see what I've got my little trinkets. I could definitely dangle like a little pen on there. Just got a bunch of put this on there and then take it here first so it's not so much. And then kind of just Yeah, there we go. And then let's just do the edges. Okay, and then I'll ink this up a little bit. Maybe not so much as that one just to take the white off of the edge, because this is a little die cut thing I cut out of a piece of paper. Well, I didn't cut it out. It already came. I punched it out, I should say, of the piece of paper. All right, so let's put this here with my little nest. I'll worry about that later. Okay, so let's see, I could Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Let me get my metal piece back. Maybe I can put this little dove thing. Let's see if I can get it on here. Probably just be easier if I opened it up, but... Okay, that's not working. Nope, not those. All right, we're going to open this little clasp up. Potentially. You know, always open them, pulling them apart versus pulling them apart. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> That's not how you say that. Okay, this little ring might be too small. Okay. All right. So then if I put this, if I stick this to this little Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I made a little like embellishment here on the side, um, which is some scraps. This actually is the cutoff piece from the uh, little piece I cut off, and then I put one of those little um, crochet, I don't even know, little lacy bits on the side. So then I need to kind of figure out, I wanna glue this onto the, um, onto this. So I've gotta wrap this around. And make it messy and get that glued on. It's kind of like I want it to stick out, so I gotta have some of the pieces sticking out. Okay, so then I want this right here. I'm 
And then I think the next thing I'm going to have to put on is this. So I'm going to get everything kind of situated and then kind of hold these pieces up. So I want this to end up right here. <laughs> um, okay, so this is actually a fabric adhesive fabric. Real sure how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. Okay, so this is gonna be here. Hopefully that's in kind of the sort, sort of the right spot. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this piece down. back okay um, so again I wanted to kind of do the same thing for that on this side I have a couple of like little ephemera pieces that are like little grocery store like labels and stuff um, I kind of want to use this little piece. I'm thinking about using it kind of like off to the side, maybe having it on the side panel, but I haven't made a decision about that yet. So we're going to put that away. So I pulled out a couple more pieces that I have. I have this like ice cream one that might be cute. Let me actually, um, let me actually cut this out. I'm just going to rough up the edges a little bit on this so it doesn't look so pristine and new. And... Break up the fiber a little bit on the paper. These are just, these aren't even old. These are just prints, prints of old stuff. I got this in, I'm pretty sure I got this in my, um, what's it called? The Your Creative Studio subscription box. Um, I kind of like that. It just looks like papers are kind of sitting there. I like this one too. I want to keep that one in there. I don't necessarily need to have, I just want it to kind of look like there's receipts sitting on the piece of paper. So I think that's all I'm going to do to that. And then I think I will go ahead and add this to the side. So I need to figure out if I want that on the bottom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom. So let me, let me actually ink this up just a little bit. And then put it down the side here. So it kind of hangs off the side.
Okay, so then I'm just going to kind of glue these bits down. Okay, and then I'm going to add another paper clip to this one. I will add it right here. Okay. Oh, look, I didn't even realize that it was going to match the other side. Okay. <laughs> That's a happy accident. Okay, so for this, I thought I could use this as a little writing board for this thing. So what I'm going to do I want to cover these up but I need it to be flat because I don't um, I, I want to use it for writing so I'm just going to use a scrap piece from the typewriter and I'm just going to um, I just really just want to cover up the top. I kind of like this part on here, so I'm just going to cover up the top. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down. Probably should have used my glue stick. And then with the little, this piece kind of went over the tablet. So for that, I thought, so let me go ahead and punch this. Put this in here. And then I thought I could just make a little tab out of this. So I think I'll just cut it right where that line is. And then I'm just going to round the corners. It's not those big scissors. Round them with these little tiny scissors. And then I can have like a little writing pad for my things. And then it'll be easier to get to my shopping list because I can just flip over on the one side. All right, so I think, oh, I kind of wanted to maybe do something over here, but I'm going to leave this blank for now because um, I do like that and I feel like I need to have a flat surface to write on both sides of the paper. So I think I'm going to leave this for now. Flip through of this. So there is the front cover. I love that. I know it's not functional at all, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't really use those pockets anyway. Um, so then we have the little plastic sheet and then the first month for May with all of the week, the days, the dailies behind it. Um, I need to, and then we have this one that is so pretty. I love how that turned out. I love the ribbon on the side and all the little pieces. And then of course, oh, here, wait, let's. Let's get that down a little bit more. Okay, and then there's June's month. I've said decorated it. And then July. Pretty simple compared to the rest of them. And then I have my menus. Little one right there. 
And then I have my shopping list one, just flips out. I think I actually am going to put a sticker. Might as well put the one that says lists. Okay, just put a sticker that says lists on there and then I can flip that through and then write my meal plan. And then at the back there is some notes. And then I want to put a plastic sheet back here. So that is going to be the final thing that I do, but I will do that off camera. And then I might add some stuff back here, maybe some stickers, um, maybe a writing pad, I'm not sure. I don't typically put stuff back there. Really, really love how it turned out. Now I just have to use it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I really enjoyed um, creating this with you and showing all the bits and pieces. I hope that you guys enjoyed this setup video and I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.